Heming B two-seat sofa from IKEA. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Clueless Dad. Today we're gonna assemble a Heming B two-seat sofa from IKEA. This is one of their lower end, smaller sofas. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna start assembling it and I'll do the voiceover explaining more about it and the price and whatnot as we go. So ready, three, two, one, go. As always, be careful when you're uh, slicing this box up so that you don't also slice up your brand new sofa. So I bought this in Hong Kong and here in Hong Kong, it sells for about 115 US dollars. That's 899 Hong Kong. Uh, and surprisingly, maybe not that surprisingly, they don't sell this in the US market. Uh, it's probably too small for the US market. So in this case, uh, the only other international location that I saw that they sold it was in Australia. And there it goes for 151 US dollars at today's exchange rate. So it's actually significantly more expensive. And that should be basically the exact same thing. Okay, and here we are. It's pretty simple. Basically just four pieces, the back, the seat and the two sides and some fasteners and the legs. So first you want to start with these threaded rods and you'll see that there's a short side and a long side. You want to take the short side and screw that into the three basically threaded holes in the back here and just screw that in. Okay, so next up we take the back, we put it on here, and there's basically three holes that those three threaded rods go in. Pretty simple. So I'm gonna do it standing up. You can also lie it down or put it sideways. The key thing here is to make sure that it's all facing the right way. So I'm gonna turn it over. So that basically this is the back where your back goes. This is the back of the sofa. It'll go against the wall. The key thing here is to line up the height on these. So uh, basically I'm just using my foot if you put it down, it's obviously easier to put in, but uh, for the sake of assembly, there we go. Pretty simple, actually. Okay, so once it's in, now you just need to take a washer, a nut, and the wrench it comes with and tighten those on. So I'll get one of them set and then just put that in so it doesn't fall apart and then go into the next two. So anyway, this is the cloth one. There's actually a higher end pleather version, which goes for about 200 US. Uh, and it uses the same material as here on like the Rembergate chair and the Milbergit, which I also did a video for. Okay, so just a tip. Once you've tightened one, the other two might feel pretty loose. So just go back through and make sure that all three are reasonably tight. And then the next step is to pull this bar into position. So let's give that a try. So that just adds some rigidity to the uh, sofa frame. One key thing to note is that it's actually a slot that you're putting these bolts through. So uh, it can actually slide forward and back and you wanna make sure that by the time that you tighten it, it's relatively smooth here. So in other words, there's no step when you're going from the base to the back and vice versa. And obviously it's the same from the top to the bottom or whatever, the left side to the right side and the middle are all equal. Otherwise you're gonna have like a twisted back. And if you're off, you can obviously just go back in and loosen these up and kind of nudge it and then tighten it again. So no big deal if you screwed it up. Okay, so let's get to the sides. Okay, and here's the uh, armrest. As you can see, there's three holes in there. So put the threaded rods short and in first, screw them in, and then one goes on the top, one goes on the bottom. So uh, let's get started with this guy. So don't expect too much out of this thing. It really is like one of the lower end ones. It's not the lowest, but it's, you know, towards the bottom of the spectrum. Uh, I think the reason why they don't sell it in the US is because you kind of need to be good friends with the people you're sitting next to because it is relatively tight. Uh, and then on top of that, you definitely can't sleep on it unless you're a little kid. Probably not super comfortable for, you know, sitting around watching TV. So because this is a sofa that compresses, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze when you're not sitting on it. So what I suggest is you put the middle one, which is the lower one, in first and then kind of tip it over so it kind of squeezes its way into the correct position. And now we want to put in the washer and the nut again on all three of those. Okay, for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna show you putting on the other side, but it's basically the same. And then next up and last, you put on the legs. So these just screw into the corners, obviously, and you're basically almost done. So yeah, just screws in, pretty simple.
yeah, fit and finish not too perfect. In this case, we have like errant strings and also just the way that this is folded, there's a gap on all sides. So it shouldn't be that bad because it'll be compressed down once the arm is installed. But yeah, could be better. Ta da Not so bad. Okay, so here we are with the uh, final assembly done. What do you guys think? I actually kind of am feeling this fabric. Uh, I don't think you really need the leather, fake leather. Uh, you don't need to pay twice as much for it, that's for sure. The electric driver, the actually IKEA uh, toolkit. Uh, this should be fine. It just wipes off with a damp cloth, supposedly. Um, and it should hold up pretty well. Uh, the fake leather stuff actually cracks after, well, after eight years on my Rember kit. So we'll see how this compares. I have had a cloth sofa of a similar material from Ikea. No, 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 ball, ball. And yeah, maybe after six or seven years with sun, it does fade, but it never ripped. It never really tore or anything bad. It just kind of faded and stretched. Uh, so we'll see how this one holds up. At the end of the day, it's only $115. So um, it's not something that you're probably gonna keep for decades. Uh, who knows where I'll be in the future. So if you're watching this like in two or three years from now, I'm filming this in February 2020. If you want to see a follow-up, do let me know. Who knows, I might have moved to two or three offices with this thing by then, or maybe I've dumped it. But anyway, ask me. I tend to not throw away furniture. Because not only is this a super cheap black table, but this is a 10-year-old super cheap black table. So I have had this thing for, yeah, going on 10 years, give or take. You definitely, in the age of COVID, can't put two people on here and social distance. It is quite cozy. But as you can see, like, yeah, you can, you can definitely fit two reasonably sized people. I'm not that skinny, uh, and I'm definitely still on this side. Okay, so that's it for today. If you guys have any comments or questions, uh, let us know below. And do consider subscribing and check out our other videos. I got lots of different IKEA stuff sofas i have the free height and i have another free height and i haven't even put out yet which is the l-shaped free height one other thing obviously is we have this here so it pops open and this is also spring loaded so that's it for today bye